Welcome to the Planet of Maths channel. Today's video is the second part of the topic on solving inequalities with absolute value. First off, we need to solve such an inequality. The absolute value of x plus 2 is less than 3. We solve such an example in this way that first we rewrite this inequality, meaning x plus 2 is less than 3 without this absolute value. But then on the other side, we need to carry over this inequality sign. So, and on this side, we put the number 3, but with a negative sign, so it's minus 3. We surround the inside of the absolute value on one side with the number 3, and on the other side with the same number, but with the sign changed. And now we split this double inequality into two inequalities. First, this piece, meaning x plus 2, is less than 3. This is one of the inequalities, and the second part is this piece meaning negative 3 is less than x plus 2. Both these inequalities need to be satisfied, so we put the symbol and both this and that, and we solve it. To have the inequality solved, it's enough to subtract the number 2 from the both sides of the inequality. Negative 3 and negative 2 give me negative 5. It's less than x. These 2s cancel each other out. That's what I get from the first inequality. I do the same in the second inequality. Positive 2 and negative 2 cancel each other out. 3 and negative 2 give me 1, and ultimately it turns out that x is less than 1. Now I need to mark that on the number line. On this number line, I mark the number negative 5 and the number 1. And x's have to be more than negative 5, so I have to put an open circle here. And x's greater than negative 5 will go right from here. From this side, there should be x's smaller than 1, open circle, the smallest numbers from 1 go to the left. This is the intersection of these two inequalities. This interval closes like this here, and the solution is one interval, x belongs to, I put parenthesis on both sides, from negative 5 to 1. Example b is such an inequality. The absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. So now this inequality sign is the other way, but we proceed the same way. We rewrite this inequality here below. We rewrite it without the absolute value, but on the other side, we rewrite this sign. We put it here too, and on this side, we put the number negative 5, which is the one from that side, but with the changed sign. We've got a double inequality here, which we break down into two parts. The first part is this piece, meaning x minus 3 is more than 5. The second part is this piece, meaning negative 5 is greater than or equal to x minus 3. In this case, we put the symbol, or, so either this inequality or that inequality must be satisfied. We solve these inequalities, so what? We add 3 to the both sides of the inequality. And on this side, we also add 3 to the both sides of the inequality. We calculate negative 5 plus 3. Here it turns out negative 2 is greater than or equal to x, and here it turns out that x is greater than or equal to 8. So the solution will be the union of intervals, and the intervals will be as follows. We draw a number line. On the number line, we mark the number negative 2 and the number 8, and this inequality x to be less than or equal, so we mark it with a closed circle. If x is less than or equal to negative 2, we move from that negative 2 to the left. Here we have the solution to this inequality, and now on this side, x should be greater than or equal, so we have the closed circle. And x is greater than or equal, will go right. This is the solution to this inequality. The final solution is the union of these two pieces, meaning x belongs, the piece on the left side is from minus infinity to minus 2. At 2 we put the bracket because the circle was closed, union, and the second interval is from 8 to plus infinity. Where we put the bracket at 8, it's always parenthesis at infinity. Example C, the absolute value of x minus 2 is greater than negative 4, and we solve this example. Here, one would like to write something like this. Rewrite this inequality that it is greater than negative 4 without absolute value. On this side, we have a number of the opposite sign, but this is a special case of inequality, and it is wrong. The one I wrote here is the wrong way. Why would that be? Well, because the absolute value of anything, it is never a negative number. The absolute value is always greater than or equal to zero. The smallest possible result is zero. It can be more than zero. It can be equal to zero. We will never have a negative number from this. That's why such inequality, it will always be satisfied. 
Every number satisfies this inequality, and its solution can be written as x belongs to r, or x also belongs to the interval from minus infinity to plus infinity. This is a special case of inequality. The absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 0, and the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. How do these two examples differ? They look very similar. But this first inequality, just as I said not long ago, an absolute value is never negative. So, the absolute value is never less than 0. Thus, such an inequality has no solutions. And we can write it like this. And in this example, it's a bit different, because if you look closely at this inequality, what does less than or equal mean? I could split this inequality into two operations. The absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 0, or the same absolute value can be equal to 0. And now, if we look at this inequality, what we were talking about just now, this is a special case. We don't have any solutions here. And here we have an equation with an absolute value and the absolute value of x minus 4 equals 0 when the interior in this place is equal to 0. Only then the absolute value equals 0, meaning that the solution to this inequality will only be the number 4. We can write that x belongs to the single element set, which contains only the number 4. This is also quite an unusual solution. Only one number satisfies this inequality. And the last example in this episode, example f, it has some extra numbers, it looks a bit more difficult. We need to do something so that the absolute value only remain here. Means. We don't want the number 3, and we don't want the number 7. To get rid of these numbers, obviously, we can't subtract them here. We need to subtract 7 from the both sides of the inequality. These 7s cancel each other out. Negative 14 and negative 7 equals negative 21. And the 7 is dealt with. Now we still have to deal with this 3. We handle it by dividing everything by minus 3. This causes the 3 on this side to disappear, leaving only the absolute value. Here caution on inequalities. If you divide or multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you need to change the inequality sign to the opposite, meaning we have to flip this sign. It is greater or equal to now. Negative 21 divided by negative 3 yields 7. And this is already a quite typical example of inequality. What do we do with it? Well, we rewrite our inequality without this absolute value sign, but on this side, we add the inequality sign like here and put the number 7, but negative. And that will split into two inequalities. The first inequality is this one, and the second inequality is this one. Since the inequality sign is now this way, we will have either what comes out of this or what comes out of that as the solution. We need to calculate this here. We add 1 to the both sides of inequality. Negative 7 and 1 equal negative 6. The 1s cancel each other out. Ultimately, it turns out that minus 6 is greater or equal to x. This comes from the first inequality. We also add 1 to the both sides in the second inequality. It results in x being greater than or equal to 8. Now we are drawing the number line. On this number line, we mark our numbers, namely minus 6 and 8. And we first mark the first inequality from this minus 6. The inequality sign is like this, so the circle is closed. And x must be less than negative 6. We always look from the x side. x must be less than 6, so from this negative 6, we have to go to the left side. Numbers here are less than negative 6. On this side x's, they should be greater or equal. Again, a closed circle. And from the x side reading, x's are greater than or equal to 8. So we need to go right. Here are numbers greater than 8. Now we just write the interval, or rather it will be the union of intervals. x belongs firstly from negative infinity to negative 6. And the other interval we put bracket at 8, from 8 to plus infinity. That is the solution for our example, the union of intervals. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I invite you to tune in for the next episodes on the Planet of Mass channel.